Just one year ago, a man shot into a crowd of innocent concert goers for 12 minutes. When it was over, hundreds of people were wounded and 58 people were dead, making it the worst mass shooting in American history. We spent the last few days talking to survivors, and I can tell you that while their physical wounds are healing, their emotional and mental scars are still very raw. The memories vivid. We were all listening, dancing along, and I remember hearing going something going pop, 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 pop. No, this is not happening. This is a bad dream, even though people were getting shot around me and eventually on me. So we got under a table, and uh, just saw lots of panic. Just 15 minutes after Shannon Caffey and his wife got to the concert, shots rang out. That was sad. See, I didn't think I would experience something like that. He pulled out his phone and took this video for his friends and family just in case he didn't make it. There's been a shooting. Uh, guns everywhere. I thought we were going to die for sure. It's like, oh, this is what it feels like. Shannon hid for what seemed like a while before he and his wife made a run for it. By the time he had a minute to look down, he noticed his leg was bleeding. He had a deep shrapnel wound. Hey, don't leave me. Cody Jones was on a staycation with her mom, an annual trip to the Route 91 Harvest Festival. This one, a country strong one, I think this actually came from 58 Strong. As the festival wrapped, they moved towards the front of the stage to see country star Jason Aldean sing his final songs. As the shooting began, 19-year-old Cody thought someone had brought in poppers. Kind of during the darkness in between songs, that uh, some woman about two feet in front of me turned around with her best friend, saying my, her friend was saying, my friend's been shot. My friend's been shot. Someone help. Cody's mom jumped to protect her. We got on the ground. We pretty much in plain view. We were in the grass area really not close to any cover. And she, she puts the bag I was wearing over my head and kind of tries to get on top of me. As she laid on the ground, reality set in. I really didn't know if I was going to live. If that person moved like a different way, that would have been a bullet in mine, my body. Luckily, she and her mother survived. Christine Carrier didn't even plan to be at the concert. She wasn't a country music fan. She'd only recently moved to Vegas, but an old friend needed her help working a booth for her business. She certainly didn't expect to click with the people there. And, um, <laughs> um, and there was just, they were just so polite and nice. And um, it was, it was, it's just a very, very, very loving experience the, the, all three days. That's why when Christine heard popping, she thought it could only be fireworks. She still doesn't have a fluid memory of what happened. I was um, trampled, um, but probably saved my life because someone who was trampling me was hit. She wound up like Shannon and Cody, hiding near the venue, unable to fully escape. Every place you went you thought you were going to get it sounded like the bullets were coming from mm -hmm. everywhere. Christine had an asthma attack that night, but it would take weeks and months to know the full extent of her injuries. A torn ligament, crushed joints in her lower back. They didn't find about out about my head injury until December 28th when my husband and I were just sitting there watching a movie and I had a massive grand mal seizure. Christine is still suffering physically and emotionally. PTSD is really, re it's real. Um, I have flashbacks that are so strong that I've crashed my car. But while each are struggling in their own way, they're also channeling their pain to help others. Christine is a member of Route 91 Strong, where she brings resources to help survivors stay on their feet. Our organization is there for others to help other people. Shannon started an online support group for survivors to connect across the country. Cody started her own nonprofit to help students like her. After the shooting, Cody's grades slipped and she lost her scholarship. She soon realized she wasn't the only one suffering. Her classmate had been at the shooting, too. One day we were in the library and I looked over at his computer screen and he was looking up symptoms of PTSD. And at the time, I didn't want to admit I was having PTSD as well. Now she's helping raise money for students in need of scholarship funds. The pain for all is still very real. But 365 days later, survivors who were once strangers have formed an inexplicable bond. And they're helping each other make it from one day to the next.
There will be a number of events, both public and private, to honor the victims throughout the day. But likely the biggest event will happen at 10.01 tonight when the entire Las Vegas Strip will shut down its lights, causing a blackout for a number of minutes to honor the victims. In Las Vegas, I'm Alex Miller.